Hey there, my name is Lanisha Tab, and if you have found yourself on this channel, you're probably an educator that is frustrated with teaching writing. I understand, I've been there. I hope you stay a while because this entire channel is dedicated to just that. Today's question is for my intermediate teachers. I'm talking my third through fifth grade teachers. You see this content maybe on social media or via email and you're like, this is so great, but do you have anything for my grade level, third through fifth grade and really even sixth grade? Um, and so here's what we're gonna do. We're just going to take a minute and we're gonna talk about my process first framework. And I'm hopefully going to paint the picture of why it can work for any grade level because it is a framework. So what I offer is not solely a curriculum. What I offer is a framework for student independence so that they A, understand exactly what writing is, B, they know how to navigate the writing process, and C, they know what to do with all of the writing strategies and graphic organizers and everything that's sort of thrown at them as writers throughout their years in schooling. They, they know what to do with it because they understand the writing process. So let's get into why this is going to work for intermediate students. Here we go. <music> All right, so first things first, we have the Reimagine Writing Program. It is comprised of a lot. So we've got a foundational course here. This is the course that is going to set up every single thing that I'm gonna talk you through in this video. This course walks you through implementation. There, I mean, I literally hold your hand through setting up an entire writing workshop that is process first. Okay, so that's that. The second part here is the ongoing hub. This is where we put extra printables, resources, um, live PD might happen here, all the things. The third component here is the core units. Currently, they are available. It is 2024, February. They are available for kindergarten through second grade right now. I am partnering with the amazing Amelia Capitosta. If you are not familiar with her, I will put a link to her website here in this video so you can check her out. She's a wealth of knowledge for intermediate literacy. Um, and so we are actually going to be joining forces and creating writing units for third through fifth grade. But as of right now, the only component to the program that you would not want to use would be those core units. Not only that, a lot of people can't even use the core units because they have writing curriculum of their own that they have to follow. And so the framework, right, which is found in the course, that framework can sit on top of any writing because what we're doing is teaching children the writing process, exactly how to navigate themselves through writing. They truly will understand editing. They will truly understand revision. Those skills will transfer to their writing. It's just a framework, okay? The only other part that I will point out is here in the hub, the resources that you're going to want to use in third through fifth grade would be our writing warm ups, which include grammar through syntactic awareness. And there's a million videos, or I should say, I mention it a million times here on my channel the power of syntactic awareness and how doing those five to 10 minute daily drills makes grammar skills multiply because we're helping kids grow a grammar ear, okay? So those are there, kindergarten through fifth grade. Very similar setup, but instead of asking our students to edit single lines of text over and over, and I'll actually put a little video tag here so you can see more about what I'm talking about, we coach children in a daily drill, again, five, maybe 10 minutes, and even 10 minutes is probably too long, we coach them with editing a multi-line collection of sentences. Because a lot of times when we ask kids to edit, it's a single line and it sends the message that the period always goes at the end of the paper versus listening to the phrasing and putting punctuation where it actually belongs. That is created kindergarten through fifth grade. <laughs> um, a lot of the resources and things are fully editable, customizable, because again, you might be at a school and I am working with three schools right now and they all have different writing curriculums and they're all implementing portions of this program that work for them because at the end of the day, we cannot get a box curriculum or a binder from you know whatever publishing company and we try to teach this writing, we can't just give the students the lessons and expect them to perform at the level that is probably required of them because a lot of times so many students are missing those solid writing skills 
or they don't have the stamina to write more than a sentence or they're just not excited about writing. That's what this program does. It really motivates, encourages, it makes writing fun. It just provides a place for students to really see the power of writing and the framework works kindergarten through fifth grade. It, it simply does. So the reason why it works real quick, one, it, it, it hinges on a writing process chant. Again, I'm gonna put another video here. So if you wanna hear the chant and see what it sounds like, you'll be able to figure that out. I also have um, lots of videos of students that are, yeah, kindergarten, first, second grade performing a chant, but I've got a whole host of videos with third and fourth and fifth grade students doing the writing process chant, but like TikTok style, or, you know, they're doing their own grown up version of it. At the end of the day, it does not matter. Those children need to memorize the writing process and they get it done. Once they know the writing process, we also give them a chart or it's a writing board that helps with the management of where they are writing. That can look a lot of different ways. We can have a full-on wall display where we use pictures. A lot of times when the kids are older, if they feel like it might be you know, competitive or they might feel some kind of way about their friends moving faster than them, we've got teachers that use numbers. We have teachers that pull up a Google Doc and the kids either have a number or a picture in the Google Doc and they make that thing digital. There's a million ways, but at the end of the day, this writing process board or chart, if you will, is a critical component to you, the teacher, having a pulse and a handle on where all of your students are in the writing process every single day. The final part are checks. And here I pulled a fifth grade example on purpose because I want you to see, and as a matter of fact, I'm gonna put a side by side. I'm gonna show you a primary version of the checklist and I'm gonna show you a fifth grade version of the checklist because the concept is the same. What goes on the checklist is what changes and I don't create those for you. Those are typically created by you and your team or whatever it is that you expect for your students to be doing. We have editable checklists available for that. Um, and so that's the framework, the chant, the chart, the checks. Once students have that, then we can start injecting our regular curriculum and whatever is in there, usually you can connect it. And at least I hope you can, because if you can't connect it to the writing process, then what is that curriculum really asking children to do? But whatever the lesson is, I work with schools all the time and they will say, oh, we've got narrative coming up, but it's a short, okay, that's fine. We can pull that short little lesson. We teach it in the mini lesson position. We model it as the teacher and then we pass it over to the students and we say, now you try it. But because they know the writing process and because they have watched us do it, they are able to take themselves through the process of writing because there's a series of checklists on each step of the writing process that must get done before they can move on to the next step. And they start to understand how to get through that cycle independently. Once they get good at that, then their skills start to improve. What we're really doing is taking away a lot of the frustration that students feel when they don't have a process to follow. They don't know what step comes. They hear their teacher say, brainstorm, brainstorm. Okay, time to draft. Okay, we're done drafting. Let's revise, add some details. And they're like, I don't know what details are, but pick a better word. And they're like, these are all my best words. Like, this is it. <laughs> like, that's all I've got. Um, once they know this framework, the strategies, they can get assigned to a step in the writing process. And the kids are like, oh, okay. So you're going to teach me a strategy about cops or cups. Okay, that's editing. And edit means to fix all the things. They have this understanding and it all comes together beautifully. That is why this works in any grade level, because it's more of a framework that we are gonna use for student independence, for management, and to be able to get these kids to independently produce quality pieces of writing. So I hope that helps. If you wanna see more, check out reimaginewritingprogram.com. You're gonna be able to see what is available to you. So again, third through fifth grade teachers, you have editing for an entire year, multi-line editing. You have syntactic awareness for an entire year. You have uh, access to the entire framework, the writing process chant, the boards, the checklists that are editable. And eventually you will have core units if you're interested in that. If you don't have a solid writing curriculum and you want to use something else, eventually Amelia and I will have core units that will be available to you. So if you have any other questions, please reach out to me directly. A lot of you have asked me to make this video for your admin team because you'll say things like, oh, my school really wants to purchase this, but they think it's only for primary. Can you help? 
send them my email. I am happy to hop on a Zoom call. I can really like break it down and show them exactly how it works with the older grades. And I would be more than happy to do that. So thank you so much for your time, third through fifth grade. I'll see you around. If you haven't subscribed, you should still subscribe because a lot of the things that I talk about on this channel are fully applicable even in your grade level. All right, see you next time. Bye.